All right, guys, here I am. I'm on the roof of a little strip mall. We got some old uh, dinosaur day and night heat pump units. What I'm doing today, I'm doing a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison with the Testo Smart Probes and the Testo 550 with Bluetooth. I look at this, I had to pull this filter out. They wonder why they're not getting enough cooling. I bet that uh, coil in there is really dirty, the VAP coil. Looks like someone made a little cutout access to clean that coil. Likely it's going to need to be done again. Maintenance. Okay, I'm going to talk a little loud. Hopefully you could hear me. This unit's kind of a little loud. I got the 550s connected here. I did a little MacGyver work here so I could connect my uh, all my probes up and my hoses. I tried to keep the pipe clamps, you know, as close together as I could get them. I'll just give you a little close up here. There's the suction side. And up here, there's the, the liquid line. You get the lighting. Yeah, I tried to get it. There's not much room on the liquid line. Being it's a heat pump. But I got them all to fit. Okay guys, I'm about 10 feet away from the unit. I'm in the corner here in the shade. I got two tablets set up. iPad mini here is the older one. Uh, this is for the smart probe. Nexus 7 for the Testo 550. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. What we see here in pressures. And it's looking looking pretty close, guys. Real close. I mean, sometimes they're... Uh, earlier they were a little off, but that could be just the delay in the signal. When I tried to get the all the pressure probes and clamps close to one another as possible. So you can see, you know, we got pretty real close. So I'm trying to look at both at the same time. Uh, T2. Let's look about the same. Yeah, as you can see, they're, they're, they're close. You know, this is probably a delay in the signal and whatnot. Okay, I'm over here closer to the machine. Okay, so here's a 550. And here's the smart probes. Try to get them both in shot. You can see, you know, the pressures are, are real close compared to the 550. Uh, we say we've got 19, 19 uh, subcool. This is saying we have 18. And we got about 5.7 and 5 degrees superheat on the 550. But if I were to put my money on something, I would say that the 550 is a little more precise. But as you see, the smart probes are real close uh, behind the 550s. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you a little quick side-by-side -side comparison between the smart probes and the 550s with Bluetooth. All right, guys, thanks for watching.